Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranagha, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with very hazy cornea. Slit lamp examination doesn't show corneal edema, but the corneal epithelium and anterior stroma is very hazy, almost opaque. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us see the surgical steps. By this time the main incision and two sideboards have been made and now an air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and then beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens. Let us see if visibility improves with the dye. The dye is washed out. This is a bit of adrenaline. And now the dye is washed out using balanced salt solution. But visibility is very poor. What to do now? I have an idea. I want to remove the corneal epithelium and uh, let us see if it improves visibility or not. So I've taken uh, the keratome and by the sharp edge of the keratome I'm scraping out the corneal epithelium. It is going to take some time to remove the corneal epithelium and I hope visibility will improve to some extent by removal of the corneal epithelium and probably woman's membrane. So this is a nice plane and there is some brownish pigment like thing here which we see in band shipped keratopathy. So there is a area like that in this case and the corneal epithelium and anterior stroma is very hazy. However, as I removed the epithelium, the visibility uh, has increased to some extent. I have already asked for a bandage contact lens. At the conclusion of surgery, I am going to apply a bandage contact lens. Now I have taken, I have asked for a fauna scissor and I am going to cut this tissue. And hopefully this cornea will be better when it heals. Yes, now visibility has improved to some extent. We can see a faint red glow. This microscope doesn't have stereo coaxial system, so a red glow is not much. So I have raised a capsular tag with the help of a 26 case bent needle and now this is visco SPMC over the corneal epithelium and now I can see the anterior capsule quite clearly and I am going to do 
an adequate sized capsulorexis, a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis of about 5 mm in diameter. Yes, it has been a very satisfactory rexis. Now we can see that the cataract is not soft, it is a quite hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4. Doing hydro dissection and nuclear rotation is done. And now, now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The irrigation is on. and here some superficial cortical lens matter is removed the nucleus is rotated clockwise as well as anti-clockwise and now the handpiece is turned bevel is up towards the cornea now and now I'm going to chop this nucleus into some fragments this is the first chop. I rotate it 180 degree and divide the nucleus into two large fragments. This is the larger fragment. It is divided into two pieces. Now as I come to the this space I find that it is very small so I give up the idea of dividing it into some pieces now that I hold this piece larger piece and subdivide it, this, this fragment into two smaller pieces and start emulsifying I'm emulsifying the fragments at the iris plane to protect the corneal endothelium. Yes, corneal endothelium may be unhealthy in this case, so we must take adequate precaution for that. This is the another fragment. is divided into two pieces and then this is the last piece of nucleus it is emulsified and there is no epinucleus lot of cortical matter is there so I'm going to use 23G Simco cannula in this case for removal of the cortex. I'm going through the side ports. If I go through the side ports, the anterior chamber depth is maintained better. If we use the main port, the anterior chamber tends to be shallow. In this case, I didn't use Visco, so I went through the side port. And now I go through the right side port and remove the cortex from the left side from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock. A lot of cortex is still remaining. So I go again and remove the cortex from 2 o'clock, then from 3 o'clock, 
then from 4 o'clock and then from 5 o'clock small speck of cortex was there at around 8 o'clock that is being removed now so we may have to scrape corneal epithelium for better visibility in some rare cases now this is 2% HPMC filling up the capsular bag and anterior chamber and now I'm going to enlarge the main wound a little bit so that implantation of the lens becomes easy and this cartridge is a B cartridge from Appasami Associates and here the lens goes in the capsular back by the left hand instrument both the haptics are placed in the capsular bag now to be sure whether the lens is in the capsular bag or not what we can do is we can try to hook the anterior capsular rim if we can elevate the anterior capsular rim that means the optic is behind the anterior capsular rim and then visco was nicely cleaned first I used Simco for some time I have edited that portion out and now I'm using bimanual irrigation aspiration to thoroughly remove the visco from anterior chamber yes we are towards the end of the surgery this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the side ports so it is done and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber must always keep the Simco at the iris plane far away from the corneal endothelium and here it is we are going to place a bandage contact lens over the cornea and then we conclude the case Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. And whenever you find a case like this, cataract with hazy cornea, you can manage the case very easily.